So I'm Will Brantley, I'm the hunting editor of uh, Field and Stream Magazine and uh, had the opportunity to come up to, to take this all day hunt uh, with Randy Lewis, uh, RLE Outfitters. When I had this opportunity come up, I knew uh, Michelle, my wife, going on a sheep hunt is, is on her bucket list and has been for a long time. You know, Michelle's a big time hunter. Um, we live in Kentucky and, and she loves to deer hunt, turkey hunt. She gets to travel a little bit, but she's a teacher and so her, her time is limited. Sometimes not everything in hunting goes according to plan. We uh, stopped the glass for a minute and realized we had a flat tire on the uh, on the four wheeler. But uh, Michelle, actually, while we were waiting on that, spotted some all dad. They were about 1,500 yards away. We saw two of them, both little rams, but they were going down in a drainage, and we're hoping there might be some more of them down in there. So Randy's going out to meet his buddy. Um, we're going to sneak up here and see if we can get eyes on these critters and uh, Michelle's got her rifle and if we see a big one maybe it'll all work out maybe we can shoot one and uh, make the most out of a flat tire. <laughs> Zoom your scope in a little bit. Okay. Take your time, put it right on and squeeze you ready? toward the front. You hit him. Work out one in. <laughs> she took the shot. Uh, Forrest and I both thought it looked pretty good. Um, Randy met us out there a little while later. We showed it to him on the camera viewfinder. He thought it looked good. We scoured that hillside. We could not find a drop of blood. We found the scuff marks where the ram had, had taken off. We saw him kind of bail off into a canyon. Um, we just couldn't find it. We, we looked for hours and we, we finally came back. Forrest blew up the footage on his computer. We slowed it way down in slow motion and come to find out, um, Michelle's bullet hit just the tiniest little limb right in front of that all dad. And it, it glanced right across the, the back of that sheep's neck. It was just almost a clean miss, just a just a grazing wound. The conditions just got even tougher. Um, the wind continued to blow. The second day it was it was cloudy. Critters just weren't up moving. We we saw a few all dead here and there, but just never could. Never saw the, the right one, and, and even those that, that we did see, it was just kind of fleeting glimpses. We never, never had a really good opportunity. Coming into the last day, the third day, we got up. Um, we knew we had just a little break in the wind this morning, the forecast, and then the, and it was they were calling for the winds to actually get even more severe as the day went on. Finally, it, first ones we've seen all day, there's a pretty good bunch of all dads scattered out on this hillside up here. Um, but we've been glassed them over for almost an hour and, and have just not seen a shooter ram in there. So kind of hopefully giving it another, you know, little bit and hoping something else stands up, but it just it hadn't so far. And uh, <laughs> kind of compound matters, we've, we've just uh, sprung a leak in another tire. So um, been, uh, been a tough week but um you know it's part of it so it's uh it's it's hunting we've still got a little daylight left so we'll we'll see what happens yeah so change of plans we're uh 
Michelle's yeah. going to try to shoot yeah. one. Um, we didn't see any real big ones, but uh, but she's never killed an all dad, and, and it's been a tough week. So we're going to go up there and see what we can do. Um, who knows, last time we took off with a flat tire, we walked up on a big one. So we'll, we're going to go up there for a closer look anyway and uh, see what happens. Just deep breaths. He missed him. She was frustrated, you know, I, I was frustrated, like, you know, the day just wasn't going well. Um, but the, the sheep really didn't, they, they ran a little ways down the hill, but they, they kind of settled back down. And so we just decided to try to get a little closer. And we, we kept kind of timing our movements. We'd wait till they'd get behind a cedar. We'd get behind a cedar and we had such a hard, it, 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 the wind actually helped us at that point. It was, it was in our face so hard that we were able to really just kind of sprint from one tree to the next. Let that joker walk on down here. Look at that sucker. He's gonna come back out. He's gonna come out to the left side. Yep. You got that one, buddy. Walking up on that uh, on that sheep, I mean, after a tough week of hunting, um, it was you know it, it was a lot of fun, and uh, you know I gotta I gotta give props to Randy. He he had a lot of bad luck this week. We all had a lot of bad luck this week, and we we just stuck with it. And for all that, like we had a really good time. Like I, I had a blast out here, and I know Michelle did too. So uh, hopefully one of these days we'll make it out here and do it again. Yeah.